I've been told that I had anxiety. At one time in my life, it had a really bad effect on me. It stopped me going to school, mixing with friends and family, and from doing some of the things I wanted to do or had to do. I loved my mobile phone and computers until I started to get bullied. At first, I didn't know I was being bullied. I thought bullying was face to face. I started to get messages saying horrible things about me and seeing terrible images. It really freaked me out. I couldn't tell anyone about it. Sometimes the messages would appear, then disappear very quickly. It was difficult to tell anyone about it as the images weren't there. I then started to think everyone hated me and people were always looking at me. I didn't always know who was sending me the messages. I used to feel frightened, sad, confused, lonely. My stomach was in knots, my heart pounding, my legs were like jelly. I used to get really bad headaches. Sometimes I was aggressive and snappy, especially when I felt trapped and afraid. I often tried to avoid places and people who I thought would make me feel even more anxious. One day when I was in school, there was a lesson about bullying and cyberbullying, and I started to think, this is happening to me. So I told the teacher and learning mentor about it. They both helped me understand that this is wrong and shouldn't be happening. They said they would send a clear message to stamp out bullying and also do more to raise awareness of the impact of bullying. I learned that both the teacher and the mentor had lots of training and support on the issue of children and young people's mental health and they seemed to really know what they were talking about. They started to make a connection between anxiety and bullying and explained that some of the thoughts, feelings, behaviours and physical symptoms were connected. I overheard the teacher say to the mentor, this is called the child and adolescent mental health pathway. They said they could work with me to give me the support. One of the things I could do to start feeling good about myself was to do things to help me feel good. Just like they tell you to be five fruit and veg a day, there are five things you can do to help your mental health, to help you feel good about who you are. The five things I like are playing football, talking to friends, animals, listening to music, and Minecraft. They also taught me about resilience, you know, about being able to build up strength to handle the tough times. They told me that they would support me with this. Life can be tough and there are not many magic answers, but there are things that can be done to help you feel strong to handle those times. The basics. They looked at some of the things that could help me feel stronger, such as how to keep safe on the internet, and school started to do more things to help us all. The mentor also mentioned about looking at more leisure opportunities as alternatives to always being on my mobile or my computer. I like animals, and so they told me of a city farm project where I would meet other young people and get to work with animals. With animals, I could just be myself and have fun with them too. I was starting to feel stronger and the frightening times were getting less. I was making new friends and not feeling so lonely. My legs didn't feel like jelly so much. I also learned about how to learn in different ways. People encouraged me about life skills, talents and interests. At the farm I learned lots of new things about animals and we even got involved in designing an adventure play area. For the first time I got some ideas on what I wanted to do in life. The mentor would help me learn how to cope better. Sometimes I would talk about a problem but the mentor would never tell me what to do. He asked me what I thought I should do and we explored different options. They also helped me to look at those feelings and physical symptoms that I had when I was really tense. They helped me learn how to calm down and look after myself. I guess they helped me find ways to manage when things go wrong and things how to help in everyday life. They also taught me about my core self, you know, my thoughts, beliefs and values, build my own identity, my self-esteem and my worth. After a while at the farm, the youth worker asked me to be a mentor for a new young person just like someone was for me. I couldn't believe I got that job. They said I was a good listener and was really good at problem solving. I really loved that experience, it was good. I began to feel happier. I was still feeling anxious, which was stopping me doing some things. My mentor referred me to CAMS. He told them how I used to be before and after the bullying. You know, some of the difficulties I had and also some of the support. I was given a counsellor who listened to me and she helped me think about why I was feeling anxious. Looking back, I could see it was more than cyberbullying. She also suggested that I attended the group with other young people. She helped me to see how I was getting stronger, getting more confident on computers, and just enjoying life. You know, having more fun. The counsellor also asked me what goals I wanted to achieve, and over the next few weeks, I managed to achieve them, which made me feel so much better. I feel happier, and I'm able to cope with life. 